President Obama gave thanks this week to 18 extraordinary people, presenting them with the Medal of Freedom for, as he put it, making America stronger and wiser, more humane and more beautiful. Among those receiving the nation's highest civilian honor was a woman who the president said had changed the world. Juliana Goldman has her story. In this cluttered office, behind reams of paper and stacks of books, sits one of the greatest minds in the field of physics. 84-year-old Mildred Dresselhaus has worked at MIT for more than 50 years and still comes here every day. Saturday and Sunday. Yeah. Why? I, I, I've been doing this for a very long time because I just enjoy it. I have fun. Her students know her as Millie. Her peers call her the queen of carbon. The main thread of my work is structure property relations of materials. So uh, I don't, I don't really what? <laughs> and Maybe that's a little too technical. Dresselhaus pioneered research in the electrical properties of carbon, studying graphite like what's found in pencils. She also pioneered her own path in a male-dominated field. When she pursued her Ph.D. at the University of Chicago in the 1950s, her thesis advisor wasn't particularly interested. He was very happy to see me get lost. <laughs> uh, he told you that? What he said is that there isn't much place for women in physics. You see, there aren't any. That advisor has since apologized. That's embarrassing. Today, Dresselhaus and her work continue to inspire women in the sciences, even her own granddaughter, who is a grad student at MIT. Dresselhaus has more awards lying around than she can count, including the $1 million Kavli Prize in nanoscience. She's gotten awards from the White House before, too. She even has a designated blazer for these White House ceremonies. Dresselhaus says it helps the president remember who she is, not that he's likely to forget the MIT legend. So at what point would you stop coming in here seven days a week? Oh, well, I think when health or uh, if I had no more ideas of things to do. It doesn't sound like you're running out of ideas. Every year there's something new that comes along that's too exciting to quit. At the very least, she says, she has to organize her office. Juliana Goldman, CBS News, Cambridge, Massachusetts.